fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and the hearty hi yo silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains fought crime and criminals throughout the early western United States. Neither the local sheriff nor the government troops could enforce law and order in the vast stretches of open country where outlaw bands roamed at will. The traveler, the stagecoach, or the wagon train which was attacked far from any settlement had only one hope, that in the distance the cry of hi silver might be heard and that the mysterious rider would appear in time to save them from death. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young and adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the mountains. Tell us on the trail of Reno Ryan. Hi, oh, Silver! Away! Hank Baxter and his three sons, Greg the eldest, Phil and Ray, were making their way through the mountains after a successful season of trapping. Their pack horses, burdened high with the pelts of beavers, slowed their progress, and they impatiently urged them forward with, Keep them horses moving, boys. Get along there, you critters. Keep it going. Yeah, you can't yeah. get no more speed out of them than what we are, Pa. Just don't let them lag behind, Greg. Phil. Watch that old Blackie don't go to Strand again. All right, Paul. How long do you figure it's going to take us to reach town? Close to a week, won't it? Well, about that. It'll take a couple more days anyhow before we get the pass. We'll be over the worst of it then. We'll still have quite a stretch ahead of us. Ain't worried, are you, Paul? Can't say as how I'm feeling any too easy in my mind. On account of Chris? Well, I just assumed he never found out about the luck we had. Oh, I don't know. Maybe his snooping around didn't mean nothing, though. I wouldn't trust Chris as far as I could toss a saddle. Pa, I can't see why you let him stay partners with you as long as you did. You know blame well last season wasn't the first he stole furs from you. I suppose not. But it was the first I found out about it. His being friends with Reno should have made you suspicion him a long time ago. Shucks, Greg. As many an honest man has acted friendly toward Reno. Only because they had to. Reno's got everybody so scared of him and that gang of his they're afraid to cross him. Even the law don't go out of the way to meet up with him. But that's a heap different from the way Chris acted. He was always hunting Reno out. He acted as though he was proud to be friendly with that sidewinder. Yeah. And it looks blame funny to me that Chris is in the mountains just when it's known Reno's gang is somewhere around. Say, Phil, do you really figure Chris would tell Reno about these pelts we got? They're worth a heap of cash, ain't they, Ray? Yeah, And but... I never heard that Reno was particular about what he stole. If Reno's around and Chris knows where he is, then Reno knows we got these pelts. Oh, golly. That'll be enough, boys. There ain't no use going out of the way to borrow trouble. Just keep your minds on getting these furs over the trail and forget about Reno and Chris. When we make camp? Not till we get to the flats. 
So hurry along if you hanker to get there before dark. Sure. Hey, what was that? Oh, who oh, there? I'm on sailing, you know. Whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 there, boy. Oh, there, oh. What'd you pull up for, Greg? I thought I heard a horse when you over to the left a ways. Well, maybe I didn't, though. No, I never heard nothing. <laughs> Getting nervous, Greg? Thinking a Reno made you scary? I was almost sure. Well, I guess I was imagining it, Pa. Come on, get up. Get, get up. up. Get up. Get up. Get up. <laughs> you was imagining things all right, Greg. What would a horse be doing atop that hill? <laughs> nothing, I reckon. Forget about it. Come on, boy. Keep moving. Get along. Pa, you figure on taking us along next season? Why not? <laughs> Never had as much luck to trap on a four, did I? Only wish I'd have thought of it sooner. So then, the Pa, I saw something moving up on the hill this time. It looked like... Oh! Oh, oh, Ray, oh, oh, Ray, are you hurt bad, son? Did the bullet just graze me, Pa? Come on, let's get for cover. There ain't no cover but them rocks over there. Then head for the rocks. Heard the pack horses are on. Get up there. Get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up, get up. Come on. That sounds like Reno himself. Don't pay no attention till we reach the rocks. Hey, did you hear me? It's Reno, sure enough. I'll talk to him. Here we are. Pull up. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Oh. Ray, take the horses back a ways. Get them out of gunshot. Go on, hurry. Right. The Come rest on. of you, Greg and Phil, down behind these rocks yes. here. It's mighty poor cover. Well, we got to make the best of it. Hey, watch this pick up. Is that you, Reno? Who do you think it was? Now listen to what I've got to say. Go ahead, I'm listening. I've got all my men with me on the hill here. There's three of us to your one. Fight us and we'll wipe you out. But turn over them pelts peaceful and we'll let you go. You rotten polecat. Them are my terms. Take your choice. They don't matter to us. Because we'll get the furs, whichever you do. Pa, look who's standing beside him. Chris. Funny the sneak's got the nerve to show his face. And he's got a reason. Yeah? He figures we ain't going to get away alive to tell the law about it. But, but that means they'll kill us even if we do hand over the furs. Of course it does. You didn't think Reno would give us a real choice, did you? Reno! Well, have you made up your mind? We have. Good. Just leave them pack horses where they are and ride them down the trail. Yeah, ride on down a trail where they can pick us off with their rifles. You made the wrong guess, Reno. Fighting? You bet we are. It's all gone, Indian. You haven't got a chance. Maybe we ain't, but we got the furs we walked all, all winter to get, and by heavens, we're keeping them. That's our answer, and it's final. It was 24 hours later that the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, riding their great horses through the mountains, were attracted by the sound of distant firing. You hear that, Tonto? Uh -huh. Me here. Oh, 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 Listen. Them not fire now. Wait. There it is again. Uh -huh. Them come from that way. Those shots might have been fired by hunters. Uh -huh. There shouldn't be any other reason for firing back here in the mountains. You... Ride on? I... No, we're going to investigate. That good. It's likely nothing, but I don't want to ride on without making sure. Come. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Tonto, think them fire from hill. We'll soon know. Head for that rise, Tonto. Get him up, Scout. We'll be able to see what's going on from there. Come on, old fellow. Them not hunters. I doubt that they are now. No shots are being fired at something or someone who's staying in one spot. If game was a target, it would have been killed or frightened away long ago. That's right. Into these trees, Kimosabe. Uh -huh. This is far enough. Go, oh, Silver. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Hey, boy. Oh. Look, Tonto. Oh. There's a band of men on that hill. They're firing toward those rocks below. Do you see them? Ah, uh, me see. And there, feller down there, crouching behind the rocks. One of the men looks as though he's been hit. Oh, them in bad place. They are. Those on the hill can fire down on them, and they can't leave the rocks without being in a worse position. Mm, that's right. There's too much open ground for them to cover before they reach a place that had better protection. If they made a break for it, that gang on the hill could ride down on them and wipe them out. Them trappers. They are? You see pack horse? I didn't notice them at first. We got the horses back out of range. Toto, they've got a fortune in furs there. Mm. Beaver fur bring plenty cash. That must explain the attack. Wonder if that gang on the hill isn't Reno Ryan's. Him near here. Me find him track. And the trappers can't expect mercy from Reno. He's the worst killer in this district. Ah. And if it is Reno, he'll have at least a dozen men with him. He never attacks unless the odds are on his side. Ah. Him coward. 
When they've stopped firing, they can't see a place the trappers could get to where they could make a stand. And a arroyo beyond them. No. That, that no good. No. The arroyo circles around and comes right back to the hill where the gang is. The trappers would be worse off in the arroyo than behind those rocks. The gang could enter the gulch at this end and ride the trappers down as easily as if they'd taken to open country. Outlaw, get them. All right. We could only ride for the law. That would take days before help could arrive. Their fort, not far. There is a fort between here and town. We ride there? Wait, I've got an idea. Tell them, how long would it take you to ride to the fort and back? Mm, me ride fast. Maybe two, three days. The trappers could never hold out that long. Unless, unless my plan worked. You not go to fort? I'm staying here, Kimasabi. I'm going to join those trappers. Oh, maybe you get killed. I'd have to ride through that gang's lines, but I think I could make it if I took them by surprise. No, you not do that. I've got to, Tonto. It's the only way the lives of those men can be saved. Oh. You must start at once. Get to the fort as fast as you can. Tell Colonel Lowry the situation. Make him bring troopers. Tonto, do that. Tell him if he can reach us within three days, I'll find a way for the trappers to hold out that long. But he must get here with all possible speed. Uh, now go. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Silver old fellow. We've got to face real danger. <laughs> danger not only from Reno, but from the trappers. Those outlaws will try to kill us when we ride through their camp. And the trappers won't be able to know we're riding to help them. They'll fire at us, too. <laughs> but we'll make it, Silver. Get ready. As soon as the gang starts firing again to cover the sound of our approach, we're riding. In the meantime, on the hill where the outlaws were encamped, Reno Ryan and Hank Baxter's former partner, Chris Nugent, we're well satisfied with the way things were going. <laughs> well, Hank and them kids of his stay behind those rocks down there, Reno. We'll get them in time. <laughs> One of them's accounted for already. It was Greg got hit, but I don't think he's dead. If he ain't, he's hit bad enough to be out of the fight. Can't be done for, though. But I've seen Hank give him a drink from a canteen. Well, it's just a matter of time till they'll all be done for. <laughs> they can't run for it because we'd ride them down. That's one reason I always mount my men on the best horse flesh is to be had. Yeah. If they hang on where they are, they'll either get picked off one by one or run out of grub and water. If we rush them, we could clean them out right off. What's the sense in it? We got plenty of time, ain't we? Well, they might get help. Yeah. Right? <laughs> where from and how? Don't nobody come this way but a hunter or a trapper once in a while. The law of the soldiers wouldn't show up unless they were sent for. Uh huh. And how's Hank to get word to the fort or the town? Shucks, we'll keep on the way we're doing. Throw lead at them when they show themselves and take it easy when they don't. We can't get hit, so why go looking for trouble? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you're right. Say, take a look down there now. Huh? Hank and Phil, see them? They're edging over to the right towards where Greg's land. Yeah. They'll have to cross that clear space to reach them. Mike! Yeah? Hank and Phil are moving over to the right again. Just as soon as they get all the way from behind them rocks, tell the boys to let loose. Right. Watch them, They'll move mighty fast when they do get in the open. <laughs> and bullets move faster. Maybe we'll get another this time, huh? They're still crawling. Hoping we don't see them. Well, in just about two seconds, they'll find out different. All right, boys, start throwing lead. <laughs> Give it to them, fellas. Give it to them. Take them off. Drill the last digits. Drill them. They've already reached cover again. Keep on firing. Don't stop now. Make it hot for them. What the? Oh, horse. Where'd that fella come from? He's mad. He's trying to break through our lines. He's trying to get to Hank. Shoot him down. Stop him. This way. Over here. Head him off. Come on, fella. Blast him out of his come saddle. On. Come, come on, fellas. Shoot. Come on. Shoot. Come on. Shoot. Shoot. Go get him, boys. Come on. Don't look away. Don't shoot him. The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. The Lone Ranger was discovered in a daring attempt to break through the lines of the outlaws led by Reno Ryan and reach the trappers beyond. Reno himself gave the command to shoot the Lone Ranger down. But the mighty silver thundered on while the outlaws, startled by the masked rider's sudden appearance and given no time in which to steady their aim, fired wildly after him. Down the hill plunged Silver, urged on by his master. Toward the rocks that concealed the trappers, a great horse raced. And all the time as they swept forward, the Lone Ranger knew they were escaping one danger only to meet another. Come on, Silver! Toward the rocks, boy! Can those trappers fire at us? But we can't let that stop us, Silver! Come on! Don't fire! I'm a friend! Put down those guns! I'm bringing you help! He's alone, boys! Don't fire! Just keep him covered! Don't go for your guns, stranger! Oh, oh, Silver! No more! Oh, there. Oh. Now get on with you, Silver. Join those horses. Get out of gunshot. Go on, boy. What wouldn't believe I said I came to help you, and I meant it. But that mask. You're a crook. What are you doing on this side? Why ain't you with Reno? But I'm not a crook. But what are you Never doing mind here? questions now. There's more important things to do. Stranger, it don't matter to me whether you're an outlaw or not. No? No, sir, it don't. Even supposing you are one. It's a cinch you ain't for Reno and his gang ornery low-down coyotes, so you wouldn't be here. I hope someday to see Reno turned over to the law. Well, cook or not, if you ain't with Reno, you must have had to ride through his camp to get here. And that'd take a heap of doing. That mister would take gumption. It was the only way here. Paul, I'll bet that's what all the shooting was for. I wondered why, if they were shooting at us, we never heard no bullets. They tried the best to stop me, but Silver got me through safely. Just a second. There was something more I had to say. Yes? What I mean is this. It took gumption to get here, and it took real riding to break through them crooks up on the hill. But that's just what makes it a blasted shame. What's that? Stranger, now that you're here, what good is it going to do? There's so many with Reno that one more on our side ain't going to help the odds any. They'll still get us sooner or later, and that means you'll have to die just the same as the rest of us. How are your supplies? Shucks, we got grub enough for a week. But we ain't got water to last that long. How long will it last? Oh, I Maybe don't know. Maybe another day or so. Well, I have a little with me, as much as a canteen will hold. That'll more than do for me. Yeah, but what uh, you have and what I brought will have to last at least three days. Huh? Three days? Until help can arrive. I've sent Tonto to the fort for soldiers. They may arrive in less than three days, but we can't plan on it. Tonto? Who's Tonto? An Indian friend of mine. You can depend on him. But look here, stranger. Supposing we can make the water last three days. That won't do no good. The water might last, but we won't. Phil's right, mister. Look at these rocks we've been hiding behind. What kind of cover do you call them? Why, in three days, Reno's sidewinders will have a shot to bits. They will if we stay here. And there be a no choice, we will. But we won't. Oh, the stranger's thinking about the arroyo. Mister, that ain't no use to us at all. It just winds around to the hill. Well, we get in there and Reno can come riding right after us. I was thinking of the arroyo, but not in the way you mean. No? Then what... Listen to me. I have a plan that'll take courage, but I know it'll work. I don't savvy what you're getting at, mister. And I'll tell you what you will have to do. And you can decide for yourself. faded into dusk. Dusk became night, and with nightfall, the outlaws ceased firing. They posted sentinels to give warning in case the trappers tried to escape under cover of darkness, but were unaware that the masked man was even then directing the first steps in his dangerous plan. Now, do each one of you know what to do? Trust us, mister. We got it straight. And the boys here, well, even if I do say it myself, they ain't the kind that gets rattled. Good. It's just one thing. Yes? Greg there, he's pretty bad wounded. How are we going to handle him? I'll put him on silver. That'll be best for him. I've had a look at his wound. I don't think the ride will seriously harm him. Oh, poor Greg. I, I'd give anything to see him where a doc could look after him the way he needs. And even if we do get free later on, that ride clear to town's liable to... He won't him. need to reach town before he'll get help. Tonto can do as much for him as almost any doctor. I sure hope so. There comes Ray with the horses now. Quiet. We can't let Rena hear us till we're ready. Yeah. All right. I'm just sort of praying that everything works out all right. It will, Hank. Ray. Here's the horses, friend. You got all of them? Every last one. Saddle horses, pack horses, and this here white horse are yours. Then hurry. Help me put Greg over the saddle, and then we'll be ready to act. In contrast to the desperate tension of the trappers, the outlaws enjoyed a jovial evening before those not chosen to act as sentinels prepared to turn in. To them, secure in their position on the hill, the siege seemed less a grim contest for survival than a game until... Hold on. I just now seen something going on where the trappers are at. You what? Seen what? They must be planning on making a break for it. Yeah? I just seen them bring up the horses. <laughs> well, what's funny about that, Reno? You want them to get away? Of course it's funny. Don't you see it? <laughs> they likely figure we ain't keeping close watch. They likely got a notion if they can get a good start, they'll have a chance. <laughs> well, that's just what I hoped they'd figure. 
Let him ride away. We'll get him out in the open and blast the daylights out of Come him. Come on, I aim to have a look down there. Sure. Come on, fellas. All right. They wouldn't be just moving back to the Arroyo, would they? It might be. Are you loco, Pike? The boss. They, they wasn't have... going any farther than the Arroyo. Why would they bring the horses up? The horses are almost to the gulch. You think they'd get them just to ride a quarter of a mile or so? Draw extra attention doing it? Eh, by a blaze. Mm, I suppose not. Well, they are. <laughs> Can't make them out very good. They appear to be mighty busy. Boss, how about giving them a few shots? No. Shucks, we can I'll shoot the them. first man to pull a trigger without my giving the order first. Why can't we shoot him, Reno? They're standing up. They ain't behind cover now. But at the sound of the first shot, they would be. Even so, we this might... far away in this light, you can't even see good enough to aim. Uh, if we only got one, that'd help. Yeah, keep them where they are, which is just what we don't want. Let them ride off. Let them get in the open. Yeah. And then when they've got too far away to turn and get back to them rocks before we can reach them, why, then we'll start riding. <laughs> And we'll finish up this job. Look, they're getting in their saddles. They're about ready to go, boss. Good. We'll wait till get past the gulch before we take after them. They're off. Look at them travel. Well, they'll be out of sight before you know it. <laughs> but not out of reach, fellas. Come on, get back to the horses. We'll give them five minutes to start so they can't come back. Then we clean them out and help ourselves to a fortune in furs. <laughs> With the Lone Ranger, who held the wounded Greg across the saddle, Hank Baxter and his sons rode as swiftly as they could, leading the pack horses away from the hill and toward the arroyo. Come on, old fellow! Get up! Get up! Ain't we almost to the gulch, mister? Almost! I'll tell you when to rein up! Hurry, old fellow! We need as big a lead as we can get! There she is, stranger, right ahead of you! Don't go breaking your neck! I see it! Pull up now! Oh, 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 Hurry before Reno can see what we're doing. Oh, sure. Careful, Silver. Oh, Easy, boy. Are you all right, Greg? No, my knee, mister. I can stand it. We're almost to the bottom. Come on, old fellow. Uh, here we are. Who? Oh. Do you reckon Reno could have hurt us? It doesn't matter if he did. We'd have to lead the horses across the gulch, even if we were really trying to run for it. I don't hear their horses yet. Listen. I hear them. They just took after us now. It's exactly what we wanted. They're too far away to tell whether our horses have riders or not. You're right. But they won't be in a minute. Then send your saddle horses up the other side of the arroyo. Make them keep going. We'll keep Silver and the pack horses with us. And while they're following the saddle horses, we'll be following the arroyo. Now get going. Yeah. Get All up right. there, fella. Come on. Get behind that bank, get boy. Going, boy. Get out on the level and make tracks. When the outlaws arrived at the arroyo, they did not hesitate. Ahead of them on the arroyo's far side, they heard the sound of pounding hoofs, and they urged their own mounts across the gulch in pursuit. Get up there. Can you see him yet, Reno? Nope, but I can hear him, and we're gaining fast. Get along there, boy. Come on, get along. Get along. Seems funny, though. What seems funny? Well, it don't sound to me like there's as many horses ahead of us as there was before. What do you think? It don't for a fact. Maybe they split up. They might have gone different ways to make it harder to catch them. If they'd done that, it won't take long to show them the mistake they made. Come on, get up there. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Seems like we're gaining on them too plain fast. Reno, I can see the horses now. Yeah, and they're... Hey, see something? Those horses, the saddles are empty. Nobody's riding them. What the... Boss, Pike's right. That's why we was gaining on them so fast. And the pack horses ain't along. That's why we didn't hear as many horses as we should have. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Where in blazes have they got to? Where'd them shots come from? Well, up all the... Reno, we was tricked. Those shots come from the hill. You savvy what's happened? I see. While we was chasing these blasted horses without any riders, they must have been sneaking back to the hill by way of the arroyo. And that's where they are right now. They took over our camp. And now they've got good cover and we're out in the open. I'll show them fools what happens when they pull a stunt like that on me. We're going back there. We're going to drive them off that hill. It's the last thing we do. And when we're done with them, they'll wish they hadn't been half as smart. Come on. Follow me. We're going clear to the top this time. Get, get up, up there. there. Come on. Get, get up, up there. there. Beside himself with rage, Reno the outlaw leader wheeled at the head of his gang to race back up the arroyo for the hill stronghold. But at that moment, as the desperate men on the hill made ready for a last stand... A distant bugle pierced the early morning air, a signal that help had arrived at last. But Reno Ryan rode on and up the hillside, holding his gunfire until the last moment. At the head of his outlaw gang, he heard nothing but the beat of the hoofs that carried him. Saw nothing but his goal just ahead at the summit until... Reno! Boss, look! Troops! 
troops are swarming around the hillside. We're trapped. What? Where'd them soldiers come from? Who brought them? I don't know, boss. But... Reno, we gotta give up. Them troops are too close. They'll get every man of us. From both sides, circling around the base of the hill, rode Colonel Lowry's mounted troops. Beside the colonel was Tonto. Tonto, who had brought this help to the besieged trappers. When Reno and his men saw the troops, all bravado was gone, and a cry for mercy rose from the throat of the outlaw leaders. Don't shoot no more! Hold your fire! We give up! Don't shoot us down! Man, you and your men keep your hands high and drop your guns. Swing your men! Cease firing! Captain Maxwell, take charge of the outlaws. Colonel Lowry, we leave these men with you. Your troops have just saved lives and a valuable supply of furs. And there's a trapper up on the hilltop who needs medical attention. Come on, Tonto. You've just finished a splendid job, Kimosabe. Colonel, this mask fella and his engine pod, they done more for us than you know. I think I do know. But where's the wounded man? I'll have him taken care of at once. It's my son. He's resting a mighty easier now, I'll wager. He's up there with his brothers, but... Doggone it, there goes the masked man riding off with the engine. I wanted to thank him. (laughs) Mister, that man doesn't expect thanks. He's the Lone Ranger. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.